If you find this video helpful, then feel free to donate whatever amount you can. Link is in the description below. A coil having 10 ohm resistance and 0.1 Henry inductance is connected across 230 volt 50 hertz AC supply. Calculate number 1 impedance, number 2 current, number 3 power factor and number 4 power absorbed by the coil. Now in this question, the resistance value is given, the inductance value is given and the voltage value is given and frequency value is given. So from this we have to find first of all impedance. So first of all we will draw the circuit. Now this will be the circuit where resistance and inductance are connected in series with a 230 volt 50 hertz AC supply. Now we have to find impedance. So impedance Z is equal to under root of R square plus XL square. Now from this also at an angle of an inverse of XL divided by R. Now under root of R square will be 10 square plus XL square. Now here the XL value is unknown. So first of all we have to find the value of XL or we can directly write the formula here. The formula for XL is 2 pi FL. First we will find the value of XL. So XL is equal to 2 pi F into L. So this will be 2 pi multiplied by F. F is the frequency and frequency here is 50 hertz. So this will be 50 multiplied by L. L is the inductance value and L is equal to 0 0.1 Henry. So this will be 0 0.1. Now if we calculate this 2 pi multiplied by 50 multiplied by 0 0.1. So it is 31.41, 31.41 and its unit is ohm. So therefore XL is equal to 31.41. Now if we substitute this value here, we will get the value of Z. We will also get the value of phase angle phi. So therefore Z is equal to under root of R square. The value of R square will be 10. So this will be 10 square plus XL value is 31.41 square at an angle of 10 inverse of 31.41 divided by 10. So this will be under root of 10 square plus 31.41 square. So it is 32.96. 32.96 at an angle of 10 inverse of 31.41 divided by 10. So it is 72.32.34 degree. So from here we can say magnitude of Z is equal to 32.96 and phase angle phi is equal to 72. 34. So therefore this is the value of Z. Now next we have to find current. After impedance we have to find the value of current. So current I is equal to V by magnitude of Z. The value of voltage is 230 volt. This is the value of voltage. V is equal to 230 volt. This is the value of frequency. So 230 volt divided by Z. The value of Z is we have to take the magnitude here. So only 32.96. So this will be 230 divided by 32.96. It is 6.978. 6.978. Now since it is current, so its unit will be ampere. 
तो आई इज इक्वल टू सिक्स पॉइंट नाइन सेवन एट एम पी एस सिक्स पॉइंट नाइन सेवन एट एम पी एस देन नेक्स्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड पावर फैक्टर सो पावर फैक्टर इज इक्वल टू पावर फैक्टर इज इक्वल टू कॉस फाइव Now we have already calculated the value of this phi. Here we can see this is the value of phi, seventy-two point thirty-four. Seventy-two, seventy-two point thirty-four degree. So from this, power factor will be cos seventy-two point thirty-four. So it is zero point three zero three. Zero point three zero three. This is the value of power factor. There is one more formula. From this, we can calculate the value of power factor, and that is power factor is equal to cos phi, and it is equal to r upon z. Now, if we substitute the value of r. The value of resistance R is 10 ohm. So 10 divided by the value of Z. The value of Z is 32.96. 32.96. Now, if we calculate this again, we will get the same answer: 10 divided by 32.96. So it is 0.303. 0.303. Three. Then next we have to find power absorbed by the coil. So power absorbed by the coil will be power P is equal to V into I into cos phi. V into I into cos phi. So the value of voltage is given. It is two thirty volt. So this will be two thirty volt multiplied by current I. The value of current I is six point nine seven eight. Six point nine seven eight multiplied by cos phi. Cos phi is zero point three zero three. Zero point three zero three. So this will be two thirty multiplied by six point. Nine seven eight multiplied by zero point three zero three. So it is four eighty six point twenty nine. Four eighty six point twenty nine. Since it is power, so its unit will be watt. So this is the answer for power. This is the answer for power factor. This is the answer for current, and this is the answer for impedance. Again. The unit of impedance will be ohm. If you find this video helpful, then feel free to donate whatever amount you can. Link is in the description below. Thank you.